Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you. Thank you, thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs>
Is there anyone near? Without my dog, I'm helpless. Where's my dog?
me your name, buddy. You hear me? Huh? Just a minute. Is it better now? Who got him? Ask those two. What do you know? Everything. And uh, the report will be up to us, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Look at them. They're letting them go. They must be with the police. I guess they must be policemen. Mine didn't suffer. Mine doesn't know. Further to report. proceed to Via Triumphale. Ciao. Ciao, Pedro. Any news for us? No, nothing for you two. The crime buster, I'm snatching your cigarette. Oh, lay off. Where the hell was I? Falconel, calling Central. Look what I bought for you. I paid for them. There'll be hell to pay if they're missed. Take them back. Blew it again. A job coming up? Yes. There's a plan to rob a jewelry shop in Piazza Bologna tomorrow. A crew of three radical professionals. Our source has a grade one record to back him. And uh, who gets it? Well, why not ask the captain? Uh, never mind about him. I meant, uh, who gets to go to bed with you? Uh... <laughs> do I? Or do I? You both may. <laughs> What a sport you are. One of us gets it first, by my rules. I'm against threesomes. Oh, but after I screw you, I can screw him. And bring a couple of friends if you want to. You take a woman to bed, and what do you give to her? When you reach your extent of possibility, I mean after only one or two or three orgasms, we women have more in us than you think. I'm prepared to go all night. Don't uh, give me I that. Know My dear Coxman, we girls have to work hard for the inadequate performance we get. We play to your masculine conceit and make you feel like supermen. Then you invite us to meals with a hundred courses and you're through after the appetizer. Well, listen to Mae West. Only if we love someone do we ever get cheated. Then we don't mind how much he fails in bed. I just don't happen to love you. Okay, okay, so we go to bed together. But who gets it first? As you say, you go together. No way! Ciao, rookies. In one hour, I bag Pasquini. We'll come help you. We're off duty. Roberto Pasquini, alias Bibi, Rick Conti, in one hour, is splitting your skull. Did you find him? No. 
But I got a friend of his who wants to introduce us. No, are you going to meet him? No, but with his friend, I'm on the right runway. All day I've been trying to catch up with you two, but to find you takes a miracle. Norma, who's out there with you? Right now, Inspector. Rick, Fred, and Tony. They bought our idea to create a special squad that's undercover. They bought us a computer that cost the Earth and then some. Its brain can predict from memory. That permits us to move first 100% sure. And not fall on our fat asses like the rest. Now, your informer's an unknown number. You mustn't trust unverified data. Yes, Captain, but when I... I didn't say you're not qualified or unprofessional. But you have to respect the basic procedure of the special squad. Yes, sir. You have to check your sources. But, Captain, a lead to Pasquini. I cannot make exceptions. As for you two, I'm more and more unhappy with you. As I said before, I don't question your qualifications. But I've begun to find it irritating that as often as you're efficient, the net results include two or three cadavers more or less pulverized. That's what happens when your contacts are always criminal. No, no, I don't need you to suggest the kind of inventing I do when I report to the commissioner. You may do as you see fit, for the way it fits, the responsibility is mine. You've caused me so many gray hairs, and now they're white. Now, who's this tie-up with Pasquini? A goon who traffics in narcotics. Pasquini's racket isn't drugs. It's crooked gambling. And shady real estate. I'm onto that. We've known for a long time he profiteers in buildings. The drug peddler is going to buy an apartment from Pasquini, so I... Uh... Why does he want you to meet Pasquini? I guess I wasn't clear. He's showing me the flat he's going to get. Every day this week, we met for some reason or other, like a ball game, a bowling alley, or some out-of-the-way gambling game. Oh, I meant to tell you. A couple of new addresses. You'll find them memorized with all the data in the electronic brain. A luxury one in Montana, a third-class joint in Virginia. But watch your step in both. Do you see what I mean now, Captain? The man we'll see is only the man who wants to sell the apartment to him. Who'll be there? Well, if I go with him to this apartment, uh, I'll see if it's Pasquini. What exactly do you know about your friend? Well, he's Neapolitan. His name is Sasa and has a room in Via Ripeta too. Has he an address for Pasquini? No one has an address for that son of a bitch. Captain, what's so complicated about it all? If Pasquini's there, he's there. And if he isn't, well, for three years he's been giving us the runaround. If he gives us another one, who's gonna suffer? Our reputation. And why should we oblige him? over and over. Since Guido doesn't know his contact, I cannot authorize the operation. And now I think of it, how did yours go this morning? They were waiting in front of that bank. Information checked. Then what? Then, well, then they got killed. Drove like crazy and smashed into a truck. His got speared when he landed on the shift, while mine smashed his cervical vertebrae. The autopsy will confirm it. Explain why you had yours and he had the other, since there was only one motor. Uh, when well, they one fell, on the one back, went ahead and the, the other, other one was in the front. And to keep it fair, you had to pitch pennies for the toughest, didn't you? That's right. I believe you. Beat it. Uh, look, Captain, run along. Yes, sir. I'm able to convince you that a woman's superiority is a fable. Terms like inferior and superior go with male phallocracy. Phallo what? Phallocracy. That means keeping women in their proper place with a stiff rod. She supposes all men are like the one or two queers she's had in her bed. When the fox can't reach the grapes, he says they're sour. Well, I've tired out as many as they come, so what do you say? They already tired you. Come on, Fred. OK. I'll bring it up in the morning. <laughs> what a surprise.
rumors are true, this gambling joint is the apple of Pasquini's eye. Did he ever take the place apart? No way. It's for the ruling class. Beautiful people. Restricted to cardholders, unless they know you. We got nobody who knows us, and we're not members. That's why we don't want to play with them. Hmm? <laughs> that way. Good evening, sir. Leave the keys inside. I'll bargain for you. We have the same barber. <laughs> <coughs> Go on, put the cup. Here comes a car. You go on. I'll fix it. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Leave the keys. I'll park it for you. We'll be careful, will you? It's a roll. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. That was the big publisher. Son of a bitch. Won't give his employees a raise and pisses it away here. Yeah, for what it's worth. Baby is a pad on wheels. Ferrari, that's for me. This one belongs to the publisher, you said. Yeah. Take it easy, he said. It's a Rolls. Uh huh? If I'd known that, I'd have taken his. <laughs> Why? You've got a Lancer. Yeah, it's cheaper. Keep your distance, huh? Take it. Fire, huh? Hey, we 
burned up your car, too. You mean mine. I thought it was yours. I didn't pick it out of the abandoned carpool. I wonder who did. Well, now we got to walk back. <laughs> <laughs> if we step on it, we might catch the last bus to town. <laughs> I can't think who would have been so careless. You try, Inspector. Well, the more I think about it, it wasn't a motivated crime, but amateurish vandalism. I see you goofed as usual. You can't tell a professional job. The smooth way they took my watchman and the speed, that shows it. Depends on how many were there, I would say. Two of them. Driving a stolen launcher, unclaimed. I've investigated. Huh. Intending to replace me at my desk later on? Your place, I wouldn't joke. You're a rotten cop. My watchman had bracelets on him like cops carry. Whoever put them on had been trained. Police headquarters, they got nowhere yet? Not that I know of. Settle the account. I pay, so he informed me. Pasquini, this isn't the usual sum. It's been cut in two and gonna be all you're paid until you know something. You ever hear him talk about a special squad? I know quite a bit about that. For example, I know that Rick Conti you had filled full of lead was on the special squad. Rick Conti wanted a funeral. He barked up the right tree. Well, and for that you ought to pay me better. What's your connection with the squad and what's it represent? Officially speaking, we're not aware it exists. But I know all you want. Do you? Well, quite a lot of it. For example, I know it wasn't set up just to burn expensive automobiles. Until I know it all, you're wasting my time. I want it all reported. If I pay you to know. Hey, Fred, the buzzer. Okay, okay, I hear it. Don't break my balls. Who's there? It's me, Rosa. Good morning, Rosa. Hmm. Just one look, huh? Go right ahead. Take two since you're fool enough to buy it. That's who they're for. Shouts for the author, but no mention of gambling. We'll read what the others say. They can't all print the same story. All the difference would be in the format. But in news content... Mm. Uh, today's the day to take care of Rosa. My turn to pay? Yeah. Let's put on the act. Here's your month's wages, Rosa. Hmm. Say, how's your pretty niece who came when you were sick? She cooperated in every way. From top to bottom. And what a bottom! <laughs> <laughs> you bastard! Go on! Play your smart ass tricks! Laugh your heads off till the middle of the month! If she misses then, it'll be your asses! So now we know she's a virgin, Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourselves up. There's no way to escape. 
escape. Come on out. Any further instructions? Defense of all. Yes, sir. Wait, wait for the commission. You must know by now you failed. Surrender. You have to wait. It's useless. They won't listen to reason. Hold back with this ambulance, will you? This way. Where do we go, Major? On the roof. And don't shoot unless it's strictly necessary. <laughs> Leave me alone! Go away! See this gun? You see this gun, you half-wit? Stop yelling or I'll bring you when it's so help me get back to your window! Smile! Luna, stop screaming or else! You're gonna explode, oh, baby! <laughs> Fucking pro, huh? Come on outside, we'll make a deal for you! Get back to those windows, I cover! You're hurting my arm! Shape up, Luna! I'll bust your arm! Cool it! <laughs> you. Oh, 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 get 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 I hope they kill me, you little bitch! No, no, listen, give me a car and I'll blow this thing. I want it fast. I ain't coming out no more. Tell me about it on the phone. I gotta have a new model. I want a good mate. Three six six one two one. That's the number to call. Get busy. And tell your fiddler on the roof to get down! Call him back! Hurry! Come down. You two stay here. Yeah, everybody. Now, move those people back. We're surrendering, Rudy. It's the only way out. Listen, shithead! Rice! I'll get fire you! Get fucking you window or shoot you! And why ain't you in the back? Get back to where your posters are! Hurry! Don't you know you can be shot if you get any closer? Now stay back here. Here's the commissioner. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Major. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Lieutenant. Good to see you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. And how is their hostage, Major? From what we saw, only frightened. He brought her out. For what reason? To demand a car for them and the hostage. Logical. They have us at a disadvantage, as they know, exploiting our attempts to free their victims. They're waiting for us to phone them. <laughs> but why me? What did I ever do to you? Hello? Yeah, this is Rudy Roginski. Now look here, you. I'm losing my patience, so don't bug me with that piece of bullshit as Mona alive. Approve the broads, okay? Wait a minute. Go on, Mona, baby. Yell at him. I don't want to die. Do what they say. Telephone back when you brung the goddamn car. And if you make like nervous nullies, goddammit, you'll get like a bullet up the ass. Coordination between the two of us. Thank you. Ah, you're here. I sent for you. Thank you, sir. Major, please have your men clear the yes, street. Yes, Come on. All right, men. Move all these cars around the corner. This street has to be kept clear. Move them out. Get these cars out of the way. Get those people back. Everybody. Sergeant. Yes, sir. Block off both ends of the street. Every entrance. Right away, sir. You men, take that corner. Let it go. They've done it. Now you stay by the window and watch for the car. This calls for a drink. Where'd you hide the bottle? Ooh. What do you drink, Mona? Uh, uh, you should lay off it. Alcoholics die. <laughs> what 
That's it, this bottle. Diesel oil? I'll make you blind! If they've already killed three, a victim less, a victim more. She'll be shoved out of the car without stopping the minute they think we've lost them. And what happens then? In desperation, they could do this again. As soon as they're cornered. Speaking to Rudy, as a matter of fact, has me convinced that he's bluffing, damn it. With a car, there's no hope anymore. Remember, you said their hostage was a primary advantage to him. How about us letting it be a disadvantage to him? They can't cover all four sides if there are only three of them. There's no way, because all they do is tour the place, going from doors to windows. You'd be spotted in a moment from any side of the house if you tried it. And the poor lady's the victim. Yeah. Give him his damn car, then. If we turn them loose, think how many other lives we're endangering. We still risk the life of the old lady. I see that. You would like to avoid it. You hate to see this happening. If you risk any lives, they are your own. I admire your bravery. But I can't intervene, because we have no idea how to stop them. We're only wasting time. But the element of surprise. How can we put on a surprise act? Use a helicopter. They wouldn't think of a helicopter. Rudy operates in town. The countryside is off his beat. That's my reason, Commissioner. But what the hell do we do with it? So they buck midtown traffic? I don't see the sense of the chopper. The surprise element. We'll give them what they want. And move as we want. Yeah? Brief me. It'll show up at one sharp, huh? Fuck her, you just get my car outside. She ain't complaining, she'll make it. Okay, okay. We got it. Check your watch. In four minutes, your position should be straight overhead. Okay, in four minutes on your vertical. Over. Commissioner, the car is ready. Your ass. We want your company. No, no, yeah, please. Mona, baby, we're going for a ride. Don't save Come on. me. Leave me here. Oh, shut up, will you? I said I wanted my car right here, stupid shit! Stop on it! Fuck. Go on, smile! Take the fucking brake off, you jerk! Can you drive a car or not? Shut up, shut up! You have it on still! Right over the target, right over your target. Leave it there! Get ready! The promise does no shit! Get rid of it! That plane overhead! Make that son of a bitch get the hell out of here! Not our problem. We can't contact him. Get back inside, boys. Come on. Hey, Pruitt. Hey, screwed up. Watch out behind you. I'm going to keep out of you and I'll shoot. Get in here and shut up. Let me go. Don't shoot! I should 
surrender! Don't! He'll get you first! Let go of me! You push it or stuff yourself with heroin, I don't give a damn. If I see you piling up stakes off a stand, I'm operating, I'll pay you. But you go tell the police and you don't get no more. It's 50 thaw on me, what can I say? I want it off the dice, what else am I gonna say? Covering is one thing. And fingering me's no way. But they were trying to involve me in a big bank heist. They've got this process ready to frame me with that scene. He don't claim to be 100% sure of it yet, but I behave like the guy he saw. They had me by the balls. What could I do? I want to help you, Morandi. But how can I trust a spy? I swear, they had me by the balls. With my record, I'd have got 20 years. That money would have screwed me if ever the bastard swore I was the guy he saw. That money would have cost me too much. For the story you told the police, you remember what it cost you as long as you live. Christ! I couldn't help it, Bibi! For Christ's sake! Ain't this enough? I've always been your friend! No! No! Don't! Manica! Manica, the telephone! Manica, the telephone! So it's ringing. Let it ring. I had my hands full in there. Uh. If it's my brother, Mal. Yeah. Ah, it is. He rings. You've stayed home. Here she comes. It's him. Hello? Get your money okay? Spend it then. If you want to spend it, okay. Don't worry, I'll be home soon. Are you all right? I saw you the other night, from my car. You were in front of the movie, The Metropole. Ah, is that who you were with? <laughs> no, I remember, ciao. Rujinsky, we've got. Hmm. The result of that operation today is positive. Hmm. But the method that was adopted, no. Since one of the ironclad rules of our special squad says under no circumstances imperil the safety of a citizen, regardless of age. Sit. Take a seat. I'm tired of sitting down. All right, we've bugged the telephone that Pasquini has where he lives, or rather the flat where he used to live four years ago. It's already four years since the son of a bitch disappeared. A cousin of his takes care of the flat and his young sister. That's about it. <laughs> Here's the building it's in. Have a look. Yes? Hmm. A strike is signaled. It's an organized attack on an armored carrier in front of a bank. There'll be five bandits, the Rico gang. 
The car arrives when? Mm-hmm. At noon. It's 11 now. Oof. The bank's not our problem. Why? The bank guards will know what to do with them. Four guards have already been killed. We know the Rico gang has killed four. Plus another four today. Oh, today we won't have any men killed. No? No. Today there'll be a cop on the corner. Types like the Ricos, easy to recognize them. There's nothing to worry about. The source even knew the bar where they're going to meet. So the cops have it made. Nothing to it. And they show up and just click the bracelets on them. The Ricos fasten bracelets on cops. <clears throat> Nobody ever answers. That bugs me. Is our business going through other divisions? Bar in Piazza Fiume, opposite the bank. At noon. Well, Captain, since you say that's all, we might as well break for coffee. Run along. In that bar. Wherever you like. Yes? Yes, I uh, want to order two ham sandwiches and a beer. Draft. There's no draft beer, huh? Then hold it, never mind. One coffee coffee and one coffee hand. Thanks. Just a moment. Get the driver! You take that 
side. Morning. What floor is Pasquini on? What floor is Pasquini on? I'm not talking. I don't speak to strangers. Come on, come on. You act like junkies. I don't talk to junkies. Where is it? Third floor, entry A. <laughs> hey, where'd it go? Wait! The book I was reading. Sex. You dig it, huh? Thieves, too. Where were they? Hey, Annie! Come over for a cup of coffee! But bring the sugar! I can't! The baby got sick on me! Oh, poor thing! I'll be there. Ciao. Manica, the doorbell rang. Manica, see who's at the door. I heard it. I'm a going. Oh, Manica, Manica. <laughs> eh? Is Pasquini here? Not Roberto Pasquini. But on the cart, it says Roberto Pasquini. Yes, this used to be the apartment of Roberto Pasquini. But now it's his sister's, Lina Pasquini. OK, lady, we'll come in anyway. No, ladies, that's screwball. A pair of alley cats with the faces of born criminals. <laughs> Police. I don't believe it. Ah. What are we coming to when they let common criminals join the police? He's not here. He never comes here. But how come the police are so screwball to expect Roberto Pasquini to wait here for the police to pick him up? We just want to have a look around. Ah, oh, no, none of that. You can't fool me. Your badge ain't enough. For that, you need a warrant. Huh? Hey, you could say please. I would appreciate not leaving the place in the shambles. Have your look, you two, but get out of here fast. Lena! There's two policemen who gotta make a search here. Here's a fat rat's ass. So, the young lady's in there. I'll be out here to keep an eye on you. Huh? Now, what do you want to see in the kitchen? Don't tell me you want to look in the fridge. Mamma mia! May I? How do you do? Lena, that's your name, isn't it? It's nice. Listen. Where's Bibi, huh? What'd you do that for? 
I turn it off because you're deaf with it on. I can hear with it on, you bastard. Well, answer. He's screwing your mother, one of her kind. <coughs> Does he often call us? Yeah, he telephones us. From public pay phone booths. But not for long, he don't. So in case you sons of bitches are on this line, too, find the pay phone booth, huh? For this apartment, he just mails us money orders, so we're okay. It's enough money to cover all our expenses. Does he watch his sister? Why would he have to watch her? Oh, he don't worry, because he can trust me to do it. Ah, he's crazy about that girl, Mamma Mia. Even put her in college. She don't have no use for college, so we let her quit. Whatever she wants, he lets her do. <laughs> she opens her mouth, he says yes. He lets her buy anything. He won't forbid anything unless, uh... Unless? Unless it's, uh... uh that girl, she's uh, as good as gold, only she likes it. I can hear that. May I go in now? If he's finished, I know that boy is under the weather. <laughs> Send him in here. You spoke to Lena. Huh? Yeah, we spoke. I'll bet you're starved, poor boy. I'll fix you a zabaglione with two eggs and then another one. So it'll be ready for your friend when he spoke to her. Thanks. Ah, don't mention it. <laughs> Shh, he's sizzling. At us? Mm-hmm. For you. Oh, it's hardly the moment. <clears throat> After you. Oh, no, please. I insist. Oh. Inside. Now, I am through getting saddled with responsibility for your criminal conduct. That bloodbath of the Ricos was, mildly as I can put it, hair-raising. This afternoon at headquarters, I paid for it. When you were tested for the special squad, every test revealed that your basic traits are criminal. But that's what you need to fight crime. Yeah. What I can't explain is why you two, with your characteristics, applied for the police at all. I have to confess you've begun to worry me. I wake up and can't go back to sleep. I'm a poor sleeper. Well, from now on, I'm restricting you. You're assigned exclusively to Bibi. Here's the address of his place at Virginia, the one Rick went to. Oh, and don't light any fires. It's useless. Don't forget he got out of a place that had a few cars burnt. They represented money. How about the insurance? Not for acts of vandalism. The companies don't pay for acts of vandalism? Mm-mm. I didn't know. Pasquini's reopened it somewhere else. It'll take us months to find it. Follow a customer there. Of course. But we have to be sure. To set up a trail we are sure of, takes preparation. Take it easy. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. 
Open? Yeah, walk in. Police. What? Hey, I don't work here. I don't know nothing. Hey, kids, a fight! Redbury! You whistle to beat the band. Does it carry to BB from here? I want to learn how you whistle. The suckers who come here. Why do they, anyway? Easy money is the attraction. Hmm? They can't beat it. How much you rake in? What's your percentage? Uh, Don't make me the old maid. I have to. How about this crook? Huh? I resent that. I'm so sorry. Now then, your percentage. What is it? Two. No. Three. <clears throat> six. Uh, answer! Uh, you want to have another go? What have you brought me to? A gambling den? Well, <laughs> where is Roberto Pasquini? <laughs> Alias B. B. <laughs> well, <laughs> have they told you? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Let me try. But who's Pasquini? Don't ask me where he is. Leave us here for as long as you want, but it won't get you nowhere. Oh, no? We don't play in that kind of league. The less we know, the better for us. We're a couple of miserable sardines. What do we know about sharks? Like pilot fish? Pilot fish, hell! We're not important. Not for them people, no. If we go to the police, then people could bash our heads in. We could murder our wives and kids. You're right. That's true. Don't leave any marks. Why did they make the step so high? Thanks. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Tell everything you remember about him. No bullshitting me, I want their description.
wait, conductor. I, I want to appear. Sorry, I got confused. Thank you. as a pair of some kind. I knew that I'd been hit the very first time. I know they're the same pair who hit the car park. You got a finger them for me. I was transferred. Suddenly. The order came through this morning. Sicily or Sardinia? Hmm. The day when punishment consisted of a transfer to one of the islands is part of history. You get Sicily or Sardinia for good behavior. Yes, hello. Yezlo's not so good, but I'll find you a contact. No, not again. Once and for all, I'm through with you. Not yet, you sure ain't. Before you check the special squad. Rabbit? More than one rabbit. How many? Four rabbits. I saw two of them. And I saw two. Run!
It's evident that Pasquini finally found you. He found a security leak unplugged. How else could he know we'd be there for target practice today? We could have leaked the information. But what if he had you followed? The point is, he's wise to you. And for your own good, first, the place where you live. Don't go back there. Second, stay away from here. Or you'll end up like Rick. And third? Third, eliminate Pasquini before he eliminates us. Tonight, huh? Ah, oh, screw that noise. Good boys, good boys. Good boys, quiet now. Quiet. Okay, come on, let's see. Come on, come on. Come on. Hold oh, that leash tight. Good dog, Lightning. Hey, Paul, come on. Give me a dog for tonight. You mean you eat dog meat? Well, not mine, you don't. Typhoon looked like he made better time today. Call the planetarium, they give the right time. Say, Paul, how come Lightfoot came in second? He was holding back. He can do that? Trust this dog. He's a sure thing for tonight. Thanks. I'll bet this on Bibi. Bibi's for suckers, because only a sucker would place a bet on everyone's favorite. And since there's no advantage to it, I say goodbye and good luck. What brought you back to training? Misfortune, a normal appetite, and what I missed most, repose. And since I don't mean the eternal kind, blow, will ya? <laughs> I got work to do. And don't come around here again trying to bet on him. Come on, you two, it's dinner time. We've earned it. In you go. Come on, in, come on. Why is everyone such a pal of Pasquini's? No, we was never pals. Never pals at all. Just between me and you. I want him to suffer so bad, so damn bad he can't stand the pain. And when they tell him it's cancer and terminal, B.B. will look up and say, thank the Lord. Look, you just won a hundred to one bet. Huh? Now you may ask the reason it happened to pay off. Because when you said you'd like it, if this guy Pasquini suffers so bad he can't help seeing cancer come as a relief, it really meant you hate Pasquini's guts. No. Now, if you tell us the name of someone who thinks that all that would be too good for him, including cancer, because cancer and terrible diseases possibly wouldn't kill him. Someone who wants to see Pasquini dead, in other words. You win again, 100 to 1. Want to bet? Just name him, and from now on, we'll leave you alone. We'll forget we ever met, huh? And when he produces, then you get your winnings tripled. Mm-hmm. No, you gave me enough. But we don't see no more of each other, huh? I know when you make a bargain, you respect it. You keep your word. I know a guy, in fact. He'll do for you. BB the other day had his eye gouged out. I was a witness. Poor bastard. Made him cry like a kid. Did he cry his other eye out? <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, I wanted to help you picture the type. This guy Mirandi is. B.B. gouged his eye out. Never mind about that hang-up. First, Mirandi's a drug addict. Fractured. Sunk out of his mind. Can't make sense. He went back to playing a gambling joint at B.B.'s, who'd warned him not to show his face in the place again. 
Well, he walked in and placed one bet and played on credit over and over. Where's he going to find the money to pay that debt? Nowhere. And even if he could raise it somewhere, instead of paying, he'd save it to buy morphine. Maybe he'll contract for his other eye. Well, I'm afraid he's the best I got for you. Another one like him you'll never find. Where is he hiding? He don't hide out. He stays in his house. The name I've told you, Mirandi. The address is Via Bishoni 20. Hey, Superman, want to hear what I'd do? No. Lay off it. BBN for you. Let it drop. What do you want? Roberto Pasquini. But I never saw or heard of the man. Whether you heard or not, I couldn't say. But the last time you saw him, you had two eyes. Now you've got only one. Oh. Your friend in there, what's he want with my husband? To question him, lady. Just question him. All right, I discover you with morphine in hand and don't arrest you. Hmm? Uh, and besides, I give you the money you owe. What money? All the money you owe to B.B. still. But I don't understand. I mean the money you got to pay if you want to keep your other eye. Keep my eye? Because B.B.'s after the other one, too. Pay what I owe? Every pay? penny you owe him. See? Yeah. All right. Now I'll give you what you owe so you can settle your gambling debt and save your other eye. It's tough to be blind. Wait. Here's the same amount again. Take it. Now then, I know you're zonked out of your mind, and it's not easy to understand. Just consider that money belongs to you, and this money belongs to Bibi. And what have I got to do? Ah, you know that already. You know exactly what to do. You're supposed to contact Bibi and tell me where and when you're going to pay. Right? And I'm going to split now. I got to see him later. No, hang on to it. When you tell him what a joint is, he'll lay it on you. I'll telephone Mirandy as soon as I talk to BB. Bye bye. from B.B. a moment ago. What'd he tell you? He asked me the address of the place in Tough Town. What did you do? I gave him the address like you said to. He give you a date? Yeah, he wants to see me right away so I can tell him who the Sicilians are. What else? What kind of players were there? Any characters I recognize? That figures. Where and when does he want you? In Fiumicino, at three. Where in Fiumicino? Where I was this morning, on his boat. Well, show up at the boat on time. We'll be there. Follow his orders and don't worry. Ciao. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't worry, my asshole. Beat it. You think Beebe's been out to check that address in Tough Town? You betcha. And what he found was the shutters done in an empty garage. 
If Mirandy told him just before he called us, it's two o'clock now, the appointment's at three, would Pasquini have time to go that far? You call that the risk of the trade. Not here, but we'll be soon. You go inside. Thanks. Nothing? Nothing. Bastard. Trail takes preparation, see? There are many 